Rosengora, as far as the eyes can see. Baby's crying at the loss of a loved one. And an evil monster standing in the way of Christmas cheer. Who can help these peoples in need? And who can stop this monster? This looks like a job for... The Batty Hunter! Hello everybody, this is Man 509 welcome to a Let's Play Christmas and the second episode of The Batty Hunter. Funny that uh, this is all in a Christmas special, isn't it? But that's enough about that. Today, we are going to go ahead and take down the evil monster that's been terrorizing the Gorons during this time of Christmas happening. But, so let's go ahead and climb up the mountain and defeat the evil monster that lies within the temple. Hole. Okay, maybe not. Alright, uh, let's try this again, and this time with a little bit more uh, rolling this time. But, okay, this time I can be able to... Let's try punching that. Okay, maybe not. Alright. Uh, oh, did I too late that time too? Oh, well. let's go ahead and punch this. Oh yeah, epic punch for the win. Alright, now. Now, we should be clearing close to the mountain, but rather than go on the ramp, I will do the smart thing and go on the side. Makes things easier, in my opinion, but that's enough about that. Let's head on up the mountain trail. What have we here? A blizzard of something that comes out of nowhere. What could it be? Let's go ahead and choose the lens of truth and... It's a Goron. It's probably under the spell of the evil monster, no doubt. Why don't we go ahead and put this creature to sleep? That way, we can be able to get into the fortress, and this guy won't have any, won't serve a problem to us for a while. Yeah. And he's just sitting there. Oh, look at the way he's drow being drowsy, yeah, struggling to stay awake. But it's useless. Because my fluting powers had the ability to put him down. You would think that would have kill him, but on a, on a honestly, I think he's still alive. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, go up through the mountain trail here. And... Uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, okay, maybe not. Alright, let's try this again. This time, we will make it. Come on. Punch the boda. Alright. And another. Oh. So anyway, uh, when we get to the fortress, we'll probably uh, do a little more of the excavating and how to beat the uh, monster that lies within the fortress. And look at those wolfles. As if uh, going down as if under unison or something like that I don't know but anyway let's go ahead and uh, not risk rolling down the mountain again so by uh, simply just go ahead and punching uh, every boulder that comes in my way because the Goron Dormani is awesome yeah so yeah uh, just uh, another punch of the Goron power, but oh crap, too early. Yeah, one thing you should probably realize is that uh, snowballs. Uh, uh, oh come on, that wasn't even that big. Snowballs can be really annoying, and uh, you should probably uh, deal with them post haste. But anyway, that's enough about that. Welcome to the Snowhead Temple. So we are going to now go inside the temple so that we can find the monster that's been wreaking havoc on the peep on the Gora other Gorons during Christmas. Oh my gosh, it's got! But before we go ahead and attack them. Let's uh, take a quick look at Andoretta. Look at the size of him. The way it's preserved like that. It's a wonder. I wonder why he's frozen like that. I don't know. But now is a probably good idea to use an arrow at it. Probably. It won't defreeze or anything. Could or could it? Oh no! It's a repeat of the previews. 
What the heck? Oh no! And now it's just gonna run around randomly! Oh well. Let's go ahead and use the mask and roll all the way to the Gora. To the God. Sorry, I didn't mean to say Gora. But anyway, the main strategy in taking God down is uh, simply just rolling uh, at him um, and hit him with a spiked shell of the Goron. Oh, and one thing you should probably realize, don't get hit by the lightning. That's a one thing you should probably uh, realize. That goes without saying. Also, if, if you're running low on magic power, just make sure that uh, you just go ahead and roll through the green pots that you'll see in the field. Because, uh, trust me, they will help you. So, yeah. And if, anyway, if you get too far of a distance away from him, he'll start, start shooting uh, lightning bolts at you th through his head. So, try not to get hit by the boulders either. That's another thing you should probably worry about. But, so yeah, uh, try to get into a spiked ball uh, through, throughout the entire time, and uh, make sure you uh, hit it at full blast, and not get hit by the lightning again, and um, basically hit it down. Alright, continue rolling, that's the way I like to do it, and... Um, yeah, this is around this time he'll start um, uh, throwing down some spiked uh, pillars into into the into the location. Don't really want to run into those mainly because they are evil and they will hinder your progress really badly. And so let's just go ahead and um, continuously. Come on continuously hit him and when it starts getting lightning out of its body that's when uh, it starts to weaken and oh crap I think I, I went past him I didn't even realize it Ugh. oh yeah so when when it gets uh, a little bit more damage you'll start throwing bombs to get elusive on on elusive on you so yeah don't make sure you also evade the bombs as well because trust me they will cause some problems for you. And anyway, um, so when it starts using the bombs, it shouldn't be uh, too far uh, left for it to be taken down. But oh, one other thing, uh, whenever you're uh, trying to get into the roll, try not to roll up any hills because uh, the charge up won't uh, really work so well if it, if it does that. So um, yeah, don't roll up hills if you want to try getting to the spike ball. And if you can follow all these guidelines, you should be able to beat the beat God. And um, yeah, so you should be able to God and help and save the uh, the Gorons everywhere. So what we are going to do now is uh, take the God down with a few more slices and dices. And on top of that. We are going to take it down with a bit of some attackage, and BOOM! We have defeated God and saved Christmas! Alright! Yeah! Awesome! So yeah, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go into this blue light here, and uh... I'm gonna go ahead and zoom all the way back to uh, the uh, to the Goron's uh, place. Yay! And we're here. So yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and talk to the he the head Goron Honcho around here and uh, see what he has to say. Oh, Dramani, I've been waiting patiently for you. Great. I have been waiting for your arrival ever since I heard the news. I heard that you, the one who I thought to be dead, had sealed off the blizzard from blowing in the snowhead. Thanks to you, spring has come to Goron Village. Everyone is pleased. The greatest Goron of all, here is Dormani. The moral Goron who is not dead even if he is dead, that's Dormani. The star whom we wish upon, that's Dormani. Dormani, greatest of Gorons. Greatest of Gorons. 
Dormani is the greatest in the world! Greatest in the world! So yay, all sorts of praise and all that stuff. So anyway, this time I, the protector of this tribe for so many years, choose to yield the seal of the tribal prior to a younger one. The Goron who makes calm decisions, yet boasts courageous determination to take care of all that shall be patriarch. The so one chosen one, Darmani, is you. There is no other. What do you think? If it's you, everyone will happily accept you as the patriarch. What? You need to answer so quickly. Anyway, so that's it. We have saved Christmas and... So that is it then. The Gorons live happily with their new patriarch, Darmani, and this brings the special to an end. So Merry Christmas, everybody. And see you next time.